Hey, this is Stuart again, and welcome back to our, I'm sad to say, final on-demand workshop where we're gonna be getting a little bit deeper into what it's really going to take for you to succeed online. And because it's our final on-demand workshop, I'm gonna have to ask for your permission to be really real with you. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's certainly no secret that more and more people are kind of dreaming of uh, transitioning from traditional economy into digital economy. In other words, this idea of having a laptop lifestyle and being able to work from coffee shops around the world and be able to write your own paycheck with no glass ceiling and be able to work on things that you're really passionate about. It all sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it? But the reality is, and you probably heard the expression before, uh, you know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Now, I really hate that expression. You know, whenever I hear that, oh, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. You know, that kind of thinking is the type of thinking that will hold you back from really ever living your best life. You know, if everything's got to be hard and difficult and jobs should be difficult and you've got to work 15 hours a day to get anywhere in life, then what kind of result is that likely to yield for you? I mean, to me, it only makes sense that that's the life that you're going to live. You're going to attract the things that you uh, think about and the perceptions that you have in the world. But at the same time, as I said, I want to be real with you. It's not going to be like, oh, I've got a laptop and I'm connected to the internet and I've got this idea, I'm going to start an affiliate business and then, you know, the millions are going to start rolling in. You know, if there is one thing I'll tell you at this stage is that unless you're actually committed to doing this, you know, if you, you've really sold yourself on actually following through with this and learning some new skills, reskilling, and actually following through, then I wouldn't even start in the first place. You know, how many times in your life have you said, oh, I'm going to try this and it doesn't work out? Well, let me just put this to you. You know, maybe trying is never enough because I know in my life it isn't. Yeah, oh, I'm going to try and eat a little bit healthier. Oh, I'm going to try and get a little bit, you know, fitter. And then a few weeks down the line, you're back to your bad eating habits or you're not working out, you're not following through. We've all been there, don't lie. And so for me, the main thing is really having a big enough vision that's going to keep you committed to this, you know, massive goal of transitioning from traditional to digital, setting yourself up for living your best life. The best decision I ever made, you know, was to stop thinking like everybody else thinks. In other words, really stop being a sheep. You know, I'll never forget the advice of my friends and family when I started talking about all of this entrepreneurial stuff. And that was, Stuart, stick to your job. You're doing well, safe and secure. That sounds too good to be true, Stuart. You know, and these were the types of things that I was contending with. And you know, thankfully, I learned to shut out all the noise and make informed decisions based on my own due diligence. And that's why I've done these workshops for you is to sort of give you insight so that you don't have to think like maybe your teachers thought 20, 30, 40 years ago, or maybe just a few years ago. You know, think about that for a minute. You know, just 20 years ago, really, there was no internet. You know, so your boss and your boss's bosses, and you know, I'm 36, I didn't really do much internet stuff at school. But that way of thinking, that world, didn't have the internet. So of course, it's a completely different way of thinking. It was very normal to trade time for money. The way that you made money was basically you sell your life. You get in your car, you commute, you work, and if you show up, you get paid. If you don't show up, you don't. Yet, for over a decade, I've had systems that are working 24-7, 365 days a year, whether I'm working or not. I've been able to spend six months in Thailand, check my emails and do a little bit of work in the morning, a little bit work in the evenings, and pull in multiple six figures as an affiliate, like I did back in 2009. Does that sound too good to be true? Probably does, but why? because it's a perspective that is so different to the pre-internet world. And so if you are serious about ending your uh, relationship with traditional economy, you better be open-minded enough to learn some new things, but also put in the commitment and effort that it's gonna take to make that jump, to make that transition. And if you're around us, we're certainly gonna help influence you in making you know, the right movements. Now, as I've said before, there are a lot of different ways that you can effectively skin a cat, as they say. In other words, there's a lot of different business models and a lot of different ways that you can get started online. 
And over the years, I've consistently seen a particular path that people take that really yields the greatest levels of success and results. And that's what I want to talk to you about. But I also want to talk to you about this reality of whether you are really ready or not. You know, I think by the end of this video, you'll have enough clarity to be like, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to make this happen. Or you might be like, oh, it sounds a little bit too much hard work for me. You know, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. We all know where that goes. And so, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to just run through some uh, common, I don't know, let's call it objections that people have around starting a business. Now, first of all, the one that I hear all the time is I can't afford to quit my day job. You know, uh, if I'm going to start a business, surely I've got to be all in. Absolutely not true at all. You know, I used to work 70 hours a week in my job. Granted, I didn't have kids. So when I got home, it was kind of my own time. Um, but the you know, truth is, is that it took me six months, which is not a lot of time, took me six months to replace my income once I found affiliate marketing. You know, and I did all of the work around my day job. And the great thing is, is when I went in to hand in my notice, I went in earning more money in my affiliate business than I was working 70 hours a week in that job. And so that transition was actually very smooth for me because effectively I doubled my income, yet I was only working two, sometimes three hours a day on my business, a little bit more if I had days off at the weekend, sometimes I was working at the weekends. And uh, you know, the way I was able to really grow that business very rapidly is once I walked away from my job, it was like heaven. It was like all of a sudden, not only did I not have a commute and a boss and working in a job that I didn't really want to be in anymore, I suddenly had all this new time to focus on my business. Now, I want you to think about this as well for a moment, just in case, you know, you've not done something entrepreneurial before or you've not sort of worked on your own business. You know, I have said before, you know, one of my passions is, you know, Porsche and cars and, you know, I'll sit on YouTube and I'll watch the, the vloggers and, you know, I'll go out and I'll be polishing my car. And uh, you'll often catch me at the weekends polishing away, you know, getting all the marks out of the car. And it, do you know what? It's effortless. It, it, it's just something I enjoy doing. Yeah, again, my girlfriend's probably looking out the window thinking, blimey, I can think of better things to do at the weekend. And what's my point here? That when you have a passion and when it's yours, how much effortless is that work? Wax on, wax off. You know, how much more effortless is it? When it's yours, when it's your passion. That's the difference between having your own business, your own project, and compared to working for someone else. You see, I wouldn't go down to the local car wash and ask for a job because I don't want to wash cars. You know, I can't really imagine many things that I would want to do less than 10 hours of polishing other people's cars, all types of cars, good ones, bad ones, and everything in between. Yet you'll find me voluntarily polishing my own car away. And so the quicker we can get you into this position where it's yours and it's your passion, it's the things that you relate to, the more effortless that work is going to feel. And the reason I'm such a big fan of that is how much more likely are you going to follow through if things don't happen as fast as you wanted or, you know, uh, you're not turning that corner within a week or two, but you're actually enjoying what you're doing. And so it's my challenge to you is within that next 30 day period, this next 30 days is let's get you finding something that starts to feel that little bit effortless because you know you're excited it's yours it's not for a boss you're not building someone else's dream you're actually building your own and so do you have to quit your job no you don't but mentally maybe you do mentally maybe you have to be so committed to making this work that you know there's no way that you're going to continue another 20 30 40 years working for the boss but if you have to do it for the next wee while it's not really the end of the world. Now, another thing that I always hear is that people don't want to have to store inventory. You know, maybe you haven't got a lot of space at home, you don't have a garage, or you don't want to have to do your own fulfillment. Well, again, obviously with affiliate marketing, you don't need to worry about any of that stuff as we've covered that. You know, you're using other businesses, products and services, and even their websites and their fulfillment and their merchant accounts. But at the same time, did you know that you don't have to worry about any of that stuff if you sell your own physical products either? You see, there are a lot of different ways that you can completely automate the fulfillment process of your 
delivering of products and services and even taking payments. You know, with Amazon, they actually have something called Amazon FBA, and that's fulfillment by Amazon. And the way that that can work is you can quite literally source products, let's just say China, and you can have those products uh, have all the quality control done in China, where you have a company that makes sure the product quality is all very good. You can then have them label them up ready for Amazon FBA, ship them to the Amazon warehouses where Amazon will actually store them. And then when people go onto Amazon and buy those products, Amazon are going to take the payments, they're going to ship the products, they'll deal with any refunds or any problems like that, and they will send you a check week in, week out, for the sales of your products. And so you don't have to worry about, again, these traditional ideas when it comes to you know, fulfillment and customer service uh, and worry about any of that type of stuff. Now, you may want to. Maybe you actually want to store your own products and do your own fulfillment. Um, but frankly, it's really not necessary and it's not something to worry about, especially if you're short on space or you want to be selling you know, a larger quantity of items. Something else I hear all the time is, you know, I, I really don't enjoy selling. Uh, I don't want to have to do any sort of cold calling. Join the club. <laughs> you know, I haven't done any sort of traditional sales or cold calling since I started business online back in 2008. What you've got to remember is, is that people are buying online and the last thing that they're looking for is a cold caller or phone sales or anything like that. When you learn how to do business effectively online, all of the heavy lifting is done through marketing systems and what's called sales funnels and the approach that you can take online to actually do customer acquisition, whether it's an affiliate business selling other products and services for a company or whether it be selling your own. And rest assured within our program, we're gonna teach you an effortless way to systematically attract the right type of customers for the products or the services or the brands that you're representing and in a way that doesn't involve any phone sales, cold calling or anything like that. Don't want the overhead or responsibility of a team. Again, you know, we can just obliterate that one. You know, for the first two years of building my business to seven figures in commissions as an affiliate, you know, the, the peak of my affiliate business, I had one full-time member of staff to help me out with my marketing and my campaigns and my websites and that kind of stuff. For the first 10 months of building that business, it was completely myself. I walked away from my job and built my business to multi six figures completely on my own from my laptop. And there are many, many people that choose to run that type of lifestyle business for years and years and years. Many of my friends, many people that you'll meet in our community choose to do that. They just don't want the responsibility of that or traditional things like offices and overhead or any of that stuff. Don't have any technical skills. Again, that's another one that I hear all the time. You know, I really, I'm not very good with a computer. I don't have technical skills. Surely anything that's online and, you know, marketing and digital or anything like that needs to be quite technical. Reality is not at all. You know, now, would I be lying if I said you aren't going to have to learn some new skills? Yes. But the reality is when it comes to doing advertising online or setting up a blog or creating content, anybody can learn that. You know, and as you come into our community, you'll see the diversity of the people in our community. Male, female, people all over the world, people in their 20s and people in their 70s. And you really will see that and you'll see them succeeding. And so the main thing, again, it comes down to your attitude. Are you prepared and committed to learn a few new things? But do you need to be technical or understand any of the complexities of how the internet works, how websites work, HTML, CSS, or any of that jargon? Absolutely not. Don't know how to market online. So how many people think, well, you know, coming up with a product is easy. You know, picking an affiliate product is straightforward. But how on earth would I, you know, market? How would I get customers? Now, if there is one bit of advice that I will give you, and I really hope you heed this, is that you do need to learn how to market effectively online. And there are a plethora of ways that you can do that, whether it be through the use of video or the written word or through just straightforward digital advertising and marketing. 
you know, being able to market online is something that anybody can learn. And again, going back to affiliate marketing, one of the reasons I'm such a fan of it is it doesn't matter what product or service or business model you're in, it's going to involve customer acquisition. If you ever see me uh, speaking at any of our marketing events, I nearly always open up with the line of nothing happens in business until a customer buys. And that's because it's the number one lifeblood of business. It's the oxygen of business. And so if we can take you through a program of uh, one, two, three months of teaching you the basics of online marketing and customer acquisition, think what you'll be able to do with that. And so that really leads me into the final one. You don't know where to really start. You know, this is all really great information. I'm learning some new ideas and, you know, starting to be a little bit more open minded in terms of, you know, that maybe I can do this, but I still don't know really where to start. And so what I want to share with you is kind of the journey that is very typical for people that get started online within our community and with the help of our academy. And uh, by the end of what I'm going to share with you right now, I think you'll uh, really level up in confidence in terms of if this is for you, then why wait? Now is the time to start. And so what I want to do now is really walk you through the process of getting started online and what it typically would look like for somebody who's getting started with our academy uh, and you know right from getting their first sale to scaling up that business because believe me I get it I remember how overwhelming it can be when you start getting all of this information you're learning about different business models all of a sudden you're sort of thinking about having your first web business and if there is one thing that will stop people getting results in life it is uh, information overload it causes people to procrastinate and so I think you're gonna find this really really helpful so right now uh, I'm kind of limited in my resources but I do like props and so we're actually gonna pick an interest and that interest is going to be photography and that's because I happen to have some photography stuff here in the conference room um, now once you've identified the sort of area or the the, the, the interest that you want to be focused on uh, quite typically, what somebody would start with is learning how to do affiliate marketing. Okay, it's a great way to start for all of the reasons that we've already discussed. Now, once you've identified that, uh, really the first step is deciding what it is that you're going to sell. And so, are you going to focus on maybe digital products, you know, like online courses and that kind of thing, or are you going to focus on physical products? And of course, eventually, you know, it may be a combination, and it really should be a combination of different types of products. So very simply, finding affiliate programs couldn't be easier. Uh, let's just uh, head over to Google here. And uh, I'm just going to type in uh, digital photography, digital photography, Oh, oh, here's one coming up, Digital Photography School, and I'm going to put Affiliate Program. Okay, so Digital Photography School Affiliate Program. So basically what I'm looking for is some sort of online courses. Now straight away on Google, I can see there's many different websites here. Um, we've got uh, digitalphotographyschool.com. Uh, I actually know that website. I've uh, seen that. We've got Udemy. We've got uh, CaptureLandscapes.com. All of these seem to have affiliate programs by the looks of it. Now I'm going to go over to DigitalPhotographySchool.com and straight away I can see affiliates earn 40% commission on each sale. Now first thing then would be to see what products they actually have. So I'm looking for photography courses and here we have their featured courses. We've got landscape and nature photography, we've got night photography, we've got 31 days to becoming a better photographer. Uh, I'd imagine there are a lot of people that you know are willing to invest in a course to learn photography within 31 days, that sounds quite appealing, so let's have a look at this course. And so as I go into this course, 31 days to becoming a better photographer, there's a video here that I can watch, and I can see this course currently sells for $49. And so I could be a promoter for this particular course. And of course, I can get some affiliate commissions for recommending that course. Let's go and have a look at another one. Um, landscape and nature photography course. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, you can see here, $99. If I go through to the website here, uh, this is where I would check out. And again, if I was the affiliate that was recommending this product that sells for $99, I would get a $40 commission for making that referral. Now remember, I didn't have to write the course, create the course, 
I didn't have to uh, deliver the course. Somebody could be buying it at one o'clock in the morning and uh, they could be consuming that product over the next seven days. And I haven't got to do anything. All I've got to do is get the customer. And then depending on the affiliate program, I get a check each week or a check each month for the referrals that I make. And so the thing that I want to say is this isn't about your million dollar or million pound or million euro idea. This is about simply learning how to make a sale online. And one of the main reasons, as I've said before, I'm such a fan of affiliate marketing is you can start now. No excuses, no procrastinating. You can do it now and you don't have to worry about fulfillment or creating anything or even sourcing or anything like that. Because would you agree, if you can learn to make one sale online, you could make two. If you can make two, would you agree you can make 10? If you can make 10, is it you know, feasible that you could make 100? Well, of course it is. And that is really how you're going to build your confidence with selling online. And with our system of selling online within our introductory modules, you're going to learn exactly the process of how to do that. Now then let's say, for example, you want to sell some high ticket items like cameras. Uh, here on Amazon, let's just type in um, Canon. Uh, DSLR camera. If I do a search, uh, we've got lenses here. I could be an affiliate for lenses. We've got actual camera units here. Uh, everything from £500, knowing Canon, right into the thousands of pounds. Here's one for £1,099. You know, again, really doesn't matter what country you're in or you know, where you are. There'll be stores and websites that sell in every single country and every single currency. We, we talk about this and teach this. Uh, I sell products all around the world in all different countries and that's an advantage again of being an affiliate. You're not uh, limited by geographical location or anything like that. And so again, remember what I said in our affiliate training video where I talked about how if somebody goes to Amazon and they buy multiple products from Amazon, then you get multiple commissions for making those sales. And Amazon pay really typically anything between 3% and up to 10%, depending on the type of product. So they'll probably pay, you know, pay more on, a, say, a camera tripod than what they would do on an actual camera itself. And so, again, it's really learning those things that, that will help you direct your attention in terms of uh, the affiliate commissions that you can be making. Now again, let's just say within the next six months, you start consistently getting your affiliate sales coming in and you've got some courses selling, you're selling some digital cameras. Would it be fair to say that you're really going to start to get confident that you have the ability to sell online? Now, let's say, for example, you then say, I want to sell my own product and it'd be great if affiliates were selling my product for me. So it's not just me being an affiliate. I've also got affiliates selling my products. Hey, how about if Amazon also listed my product and I could sell on Amazon? So let's just say, for example, you decide your first product is going to be a camera bag. Okay, that's what you've identified through our training is a good opportunity. So again, let's just do this. Let's go over to Alibaba. And all I would do is simply type in, uh, let's put in camera bag. That's a good start. And straight away, I can see some wholesale prices on some bags that I can put my own brand on. I can uh, obviously uh, arrange to import. Here's a nice green bag here. But look at this. And uh, they're saying here that you can get 10 to 99 bags uh, from $13.29. And again, I want to reiterate, and there's multiple colors here. I want to reiterate that by going direct to the manufacturers through our sourcing agents, you're going to smash these prices typically. But I think you'll agree, like, you know, 13 bucks, you know, tenner, euros, 10, uh, 10 pounds, isn't crazy amounts of money. Now, if I go back and let's just see if there's any others that stand out, there's kind of like more of a pulley along bag, looks like, you know, a little bit more interesting on that part. Uh, here's, a, here's a red one. Uh, this bag is coming in at uh, $6.50 for a minimum of 10 pieces. And again, they've got lots of multiple different colors here. Now, if I just go over to Amazon, let's just type in camera bag. Let's see what they're selling for. Uh, see if we can see anything that's kind of similar. Uh, here's a green one. So this one's selling for 15 pounds 99. So if I was to actually get that landed for say six pounds or six bucks, that would be a, a tenner 
profit per bag minus my fees for selling on Amazon and you know that kind of stuff um, but you know even if I was just to do that for my first product and I was selling you know a couple of bags a day would you agree that that's a great start and I'm going to keep stressing this is that so many people don't start business because they think they have to hit a home run but if you could start selling, let's say three, four, five bags a day online using Amazon and their fulfillment services and not having to store them in your garage and not having to worry about uh, you know, uh, fulfillment and taking payments and everything else, do you think you'd have the motivation to then do your second product? So let's say, for example, we wanna sell a mini tripod. These are all my products. These are products that I've purchased and so hence they're great examples. Now, if you can sell these, is it fair to say you could sell these? And then maybe you want to do a suction cup tripod, you know, one of these ones for the car that's great for GoPros. You know, people are shooting videos in all sorts of locations. This sucks onto the window, et cetera, et cetera. But the point is, is you're just going to have idea after idea after idea. And the art isn't in coming up with something that's never sold before or something you, that's unique. If you do, fantastic. The art is really knowing the process of selling online, the system of selling online. And so here we have another uh, kind of novel product here. This is actually an iPhone. Uh, uh, let me show you actually from a phone. So I can actually use my iPhone as a teleprompter. So with the teleprompter app, my phone can go into this slot here. And then this can mount onto a tripod. And then I can actually read a teleprompter with the camera lens coming through here. <laughs> and that then would uh, you know, enable me to read a teleprompter. Just a, a little novel product. Now, this from China is probably a couple of bucks. you know, And I don't know what they sell for. Um, we, won't, we won't do some research now. But you know, let's just say a tenner. You know, it's a fourth product in this instance. Now, as you start to develop this new business and you're doing some affiliate sales and you've got your first few products underway you've got amazon selling your products maybe you've got affiliates that are, you know marketing on amazon selling your backpack and everything else the next step is then to come up with a, a brand and it's like you know what now i'm actually ready to create a photography brand now i hope what you're starting to realize is this is actually the other way around to what most people do you see most people come up with a brand and then they come up with a logo and then they have to get their business cards because of course you've got to have business cards. I don't have business cards to this day, 10 years on, I get asked for them and I'm like, I don't have business cards, you can take my email. <laughs> and uh, you know, so many people are backwards. They spend so much time on a business plan. You know, they, I've got to create a in-depth business plan or they spend so much time dreaming about needing investment Yet the reality is you can just get started. You know, you can make that first sale online, that second, that tenth sale, your first product. And all of a sudden that entrepreneurial spirit kicks in and then you're like, now I want to create a brand. And then imagine developing that brand to where you can actually sell that brand to maybe a bigger company that's doing acquisitions, which happens all the time. And then maybe you make your first million. And we see this type of thing time and time again. Look, the reality is if you had said to me, and I really mean this 10 years ago, that I'd have built an eight figure company, I'd have software companies, I'd have education companies, I'd be speaking from stage. I'm an introvert. You know, I didn't do well at school. I dropped out of college. My confidence was at an all time low when I started an online business after failing with my first traditional sales business. Yet 10 years on, you know, I do look back and I'm like, wow, but it was all through those mini steps. So action is the most important thing that you can do. You know, Tony Robbins says it best. You can't go to the window and look out and say, no weeds, no weeds. I visualize no weeds in the garden. You have to go out there and pull them up. And the problem is, is so many people that want to be entrepreneurs or want to make their first million and want to create success in their lives. It's all thinking visualizing vision boards and i'm a fan of all of these types of things a positive mindset will take you so far in life but you've got to do the work and take the action and so with our system of selling online i'm going to be walking you through the process of making your first sale online you can be an affiliate for the millions of products that are out there you can be an affiliate for us you can give away trainings like this for free 
and we will pay you commissions if people go on and buy any of our products, our services, attend any of our events. You can be an affiliate and sell camera bags or digital cameras on Amazon. The system of selling online will show you exactly what you need to do. Maybe you've got an idea of creating your own course. Maybe you've already got your own products or services. Maybe you do direct sales and you're looking to learn to use modern technology and systems to automate the selling so that you're not trying to pitch to people or working your friends and family. You know, the system of selling online will change your life and that is where I recommend that you start. You don't need to get started at this stage with you know, going back to school, going back to college, some heavy mentoring situation. Start off with the basics, build your confidence up and then we can obviously take it from there. Look, thanks so much for coming through and checking out our on-demand workshops. I hope you've enjoyed these trainings. Mark my words when I say this, it's one step at a time. You know, just think about that next step, which maybe is your first sale online. You can do that. It doesn't matter your age, your sex, your location, your experience, how successful you are right now. Maybe you're already very successful. Maybe you're a multi-millionaire executive and you're like, I just want to get out of traditional business. I, I, I don't want to commute anymore. I don't want to travel. I don't want to be away from my family. And you're looking to get something started that you can break free from the confines of a traditional business. Maybe you've never made that much money and actually it's your time and you're starting to dream big again. Maybe money isn't the goal and it's just to actually have freedom so you can travel the world and do more of the things that you want to do. Maybe you just want more time with your family. Maybe goal one is just replace job income. You know, we're seeing people within our community week in, week out, every single week, 52 uh, weeks of the year, retiring, from their jobs, sometimes retiring their partners, their wives, their husbands, because of successful online ventures. And the final thing I want to say is we are here to support you. We are not about online courses. And that's what a lot of people assume. You know, oh, they've got some good online courses. Let me propose this to you. If information was the only answer, everybody would have everything that they want in life because the information is there, it is the internet. Most things are only a Google search away. What you're really looking for is proven systems, support and resources. And you know, we've been around a decade doing this. We have support, resources, community, events, meetups, trainings. When you go through our introductory course, you'll have access to your own system consultant who you can brainstorm your ideas with and they can help you take the right action to move you forward. And so I'm going to challenge you to go through our introductory module and by the end of it, get some clarity around the space that you want to go into. What interest or what market? Do you want to do affiliate marketing? Do you want to sell your first product? Have you got an existing product that you want to sell? And let's show you how to make that first sale and then scale beyond. I look forward to seeing you in the full training. Thank you so much for going through uh, our on-demand workshops and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.